Right, hello everyone, it's Jake from the Foundation of Life here. I hope you're having a brilliant day, uh, and I'm going to take you through today's PE lesson. Okay, before we start, we've got to do something called a warm up. Okay, so we've got to get our body warm and ready for our activities. Alright, today's theme for our warm up is going to be superheroes. Okay, so have a little think who's your favourite superhero? Mine is. Oh, who's mine? Mine's Superman. Okay, so I want you to do your best Superman impression at home. Okay, our first exercise, all right, is going to be a Superman stretch. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get down on my hands and knees. All right, make sure your shoulders are above your hands. Okay, so it should be a straight line. All right, then you're going to put your left arm up and your right leg up at the same time. You look like Superman in the air. Once you've done that, you're going to go on to the other side. Okay. If you want a bit of an extra challenge, if that's too easy, you can go up into a press up position and do it. But I'm just going to stay on my knees, alright, because I need to talk all the way through. I need my breath. Okay, so you can go press up position, you can go right hand up, you can go left leg up. Okay, and see on the other side. Alright, as you can see, that's a little bit harder, so I'm going to stay on my knees. Ready? So we're going to start that in three, two, one, off you go. So nice and easy, okay, do it at your own pace, there's no race in this, there's no rush, okay, so make sure you're stretching your arm all the way out like Superman would when he's flying, okay, we've got 10 seconds left, well done if you're trying the harder one, okay, that's us done, okay, so well done for that one, a little rest now while I tell you what the next one is. The next superhero we are going to visit is Captain America. Okay, and because Captain America's got a really strong core, we're going to do a Captain America plank. So again, press up position, and you're going to try and hold that for the whole 30 seconds. Okay, if that's too hard, all right, you might go down on your elbows, do it like this. Okay, well that is up to you. All right, so we're going to start in three, Two, one, off you go. Try and keep your back nice and straight and your legs straight. All right, again, can your shoulders be above your hands? Okay, your hands shouldn't really be any wider than your shoulders at all. Okay, so you should feel this. Can you tense your core? Can you tense your stomach? All right, then you get abs, just like Captain America from doing this. All right, so we've not got long left. Three two, one, and freeze there, well done. Okay, this time, all right, just have a little rest, get a drink if you want, all right, the next one we're gonna do, we are going to visit The Flash, all right? Does anyone know what The Flash is? That's right, he's really fast, isn't he? He's really fast, okay, like a flash, all right? I think that's why they called him. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna jog on the spot, okay, if you've got a little bit of room, you might have a little jog around the circle, you might do a little, a little pattern on the floor, okay, it's completely up to you. But when I say go, flash is gonna turn up and we're gonna to have to do a flash sprint as fast as we can for five seconds, okay? So we're gonna do a couple of those. All right, so listen out for me saying go. All right, we're gonna start and we're jogging around, okay, in three seconds. Three, two, one, off you go. So I'm gonna start on the spot. All right, if you have got the space, I don't mind you doing little circles, whatever you want. Okay, so I'll do a circle, I'll get back to my spot. And flash sprint, off you go. And stop there, so you're just jogging again, just jogging, you might go for a little adventure around your room. Completely up to you. You might be jogging around your room, you might see Spider-Man, hello Spider-Man. All right, now we're back to being flash, off you go. And stop there, well done. Okay, again, that one might have took your breath away a little bit. So you can get a drink again if you want. Okay. The next superhero we are going to see, we're going to visit, we're going to see what he wants us to do, is the Hulk. And as you can tell, I don't really look like the Hulk. All right, we're going to try and be just as strong as the Hulk by smashing the floor with our big Hulk smashes. Okay. So you're going to start up standing still. You're going to swing your arms and jump into the air like this. Okay. 
When you get down, you're going to bend your legs and punch the floor. Okay. Again, if you're at home, be really careful punching the floor. We don't want any holes in your floor. Okay. If you want, okay, if you want to make it a bit harder for yourself, when you get down, you can jump all the way from there and back down again. I'm going to stand up and jump from here. Okay. Ready? We're going to start in three, two, one. Off you go. So swing on my arms, jump and punch in the floor. Set again. Jump and punch in the floor with the other hand. Your challenge, can you do it faster than me? Okay, good. How high can you jump? How high can you jump? Can you jump higher than me? Can you get a parent to do it with you? Can you jump higher than them? And freeze there. Well done. Okay. Hopefully, everyone's warm now. Okay, feel your head. Is it warm? Feel your heart. Is your pulse a little bit faster? Okay. If it is, well done. You are ready to play our activity. Hello everyone, it's just Jake from the foundation again. Uh, well done for completing your warm up. Now we're going to go on to today's main activity. Okay, so we are going to play a game called Angry Birds. So hopefully you've heard of Angry Birds before. Okay, if you're not sure, it's a little game where you get your birds and you throw them and try and knock down as many towers as possible. So this is what I've set up here. Okay, so I've set up or I've picked lots of things that I've found. Okay, some household items, some, some not so household items. So I've got some socks there. So hopefully everyone's got some socks at home. Okay, if not, you can use anything you find, a little sponge out of the sink. Alright, to make sure it's not wet. Alright, on this side, all right, I've got my towers. So they're the angry birds, these are the towers. Again, I've got some cones. Okay, lucky for me, you might not have cones. Alright, you might stack some books up. Or like I've done, you might put some toilet rolls up. Okay, but I want you to be creative with this. What type of towers can you make? Alright. So our first round, okay, we're going to practice our throwing. So our first round is going to be an underarm throw. Okay, so your hand starts below your waist. Alright, you're going to throw like this. Alright, so I'm going to have one minute for each round. Alright, we've got three rounds in total. I want you to add your scores up at the end. Alright, if you knock a tower down, you get a point for this round. Okay. So, let me start my timer. Three, two, one, go. Oh, what am I gonna, I'm gonna go for a frisbee first. All right, see if I can knock one down. Just missed. What can I go for next there? A pair of socks. All right, so underarm again. Just missed. A pair of socks didn't work. I'll go for a tennis ball. Alright, so as you can see that orange one's fell down, so that might happen in your house. So what I'm gonna do, I'm quickly just going to put it back up. Alright, but that's still part of my time, so I've got to be quicker now. Oh, I bounced it over the top, this is awful. So how many points have I got? Zero. Alright, not much maths involved there. Oh, I've hit the tower but it hasn't fallen down. Alright, I'm gonna go for the big one at the front. I need a point here. There's a point, and I've got five seconds left. What else can I get? Yeah, set of two points. Can I hit the orange one down? And three. So I've just got three points there. All right, what I'm going to do now, while I have a little rest, because I'm a little bit tired after that. Okay, I'm going to set all these back up. I'm going to put my angry birds over there. Okay, and then we're going to move on to round two. Right, well done for round one. Now we're going to move on to round two, okay? Because it's round two, it's going to be a little bit harder. So, you're going to have to throw overarm now. So it might be thrown overarm like this, it might be like a little dart throw, okay? But the ball has to start above your shoulder, okay? So like this, you're going to throw it like this, all right. Throw as hard as you can at them, okay? But be careful in your house, all right? Make sure you're not playing this in front of the telly. Alright, so I'm going to give myself one minute again. Alright, I got three points last round because I knocked over all the towers. This round, you get two points for each, so the maximum I can get, two, add two, add two, is six. Okay, 
Hopefully, I'm going to go for the six points now. All right, ready? I'm going to start my clock in three, two, one, go. So over arm, over arm. I'm going to go for them toilet bowls. It didn't fall over last time. Yeah, straight away. There's two points for me. Two points, I'll go for a frisbee now. Frisbee can't really go over arm. Okay, so I'm just going to go as a frisbee again. I think the same thing again. What am I doing? Socks, pair of socks. Can you do it with a pair of socks? Uh, we'll go really hard. We'll try and hit the orange ones. Oh, just missed, just missed. I'm gonna have to go and get them there. Yeah. Go for the orange ones again. Missed again. Right, I'm gonna have to go for the little tower at the front now, or the big tower at the front, sorry. Because that looked really easy to get. And I need some points. We've bounced over. We've bounced over, and I've got 15 seconds left, and I'm struggling. It's finally. And with that shot, I managed to hit the orange one over as well. So I've got six points in this round. Can you do it in a quicker time? Right, well done for completing round two. Uh, I got three points in the first and six points in the second round. Okay, so I'm gonna add them up. So three and six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points I've got. Okay, so I want you to count your scores up as well. Okay, because we're gonna go into our final round now. All right, where there's even more points on offer. All right, so, everything's set up again. Our towers are there, our angry birds are there. Okay, but this round, there's a little bit more responsibility on you. You're gonna have the choice of how you throw the angry birds. So this is our freestyle round. Okay, so, a couple of ideas I've had. You might close your eyes and throw it. You might, throw it backwards over your head, you might throw it backwards through your legs. Okay, but I want you to be creative with it. All right, try and think of something that I've not thought of. All right, I'm gonna give myself one minute again. See if I can get a full house, see if I can knock everything down in my game. If I can, I'll be so, so happy. All right, ready? I'm gonna start in three, two, one, and Go. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go backwards first. Oh, so close. Um, I'm going for a frisbee. But I'm gonna close my eyes. All right, this could end badly in the house, so be careful. Straight through the middle was that. Oh, tennis ball. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for a bouncer. I'm gonna try and bounce it over the first tower and knock those toilet walls down. Oh, this is not a good round for me and I'm halfway through hopefully you'll be doing better by this point so I'm gonna go under my leg oh. and we'll go backwards over my head again oh no I'm panicking I'm panicking I've only got, I've got three left okay and I've got ten seconds left so I think it's gonna be three fast ones so we'll go one over my head two hands away and through my leg so I've knocked, I'm not gonna count this one because I think I just fell over when something bounced off it. All right, I didn't actually throw something and knock that down. So I got one tower, I got two towers. So two lots of five points, all right, try and work that out. That is 10 points. Okay, so adding on to my nine points before, I want you to quickly go and tell someone in your house what that score is, what's nine and 10. Okay, I think. That's 19. So if you said 19, well done. All right, now you've got to count your scores up. Have you beat me? If you haven't, do you want to have another go? Okay, it's completely up to you. If you've really enjoyed it and you've beat me, you can keep playing. You can challenge someone to a game. All right, but well, I've enjoyed myself. Hopefully you have. All right, so well done. All right, well done for doing your activity. Um, now, because we warmed up at the start, we're going to have to cool down as well. Okay, so we're going to do some stretches. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to swing our arms forward in big circles. Okay, and we're going to do each one for about 10 seconds. Okay, then we're going to have a 10 second rest as well. All right, ready? Off you go. So swinging your arms forward, nice big circles. And smaller circles. And bigger circles again. 
Right, well done. Now we'll have a little rest. Okay, while well, I tell you the next one. The next one, okay, really simple. Again, we're going to do it exactly the same, but we're going to go backwards. Okay. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Off you go. So we're going to go big circles. Change them to little circles. And back to big circles again. Yeah, well done. Okay. Now, all right, because you've worked really hard, we're going to have a sit down on the floor. Okay. So I'm going to sit down. I'm going to show you at the side first. Okay. So legs nice and straight. All right. Toes pointing up into the sky. All right. What you're going to do? You're going to try and reach forward and reach your toes. Okay. Reach forward and reach your toes. Try and get your head down nice and low as well. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. So keep them legs on the floor. If you can't reach all the way down, that's fine. Try and hold it, try not to bounce. And freeze there. Okay, next one. Instead of putting your legs in a straight line, you're going to put your legs out wide. Okay, just like this. Okay, and what you're going to do, you're still going to reach forward and reach as far forward as you can. Alright, so we're going to start in three, two, one, off you go. Again, try and bend down, try and get your head down quite far. Alright, and try not to bounce. Okay, so we're going to finish in three, two, one, and relax. Okay, our last one, alright, is going to be flappy wings. Alright, so you're going to have your feet together like this, okay, pull them in, and you are going to flap your wings at the side. Alright, so we're going to do this one for a little bit longer, about 15, 20 seconds. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, off you go. Alright, so not too not too fast. Okay, but we're just stretching our legs out a little bit. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, now you can stand up. Okay, I want you to shake your arms out, shake your legs out. All right, give yourself a little round of applause. All right, because that's you finished. Okay, so well done. And if you've got any photos or videos of you doing these sessions, okay, you can put them on Facebook, you can put them on Twitter, you can put them on any social media. Okay, get your adult to do that. All right, and the tags for the social media are on the bottom of our screen. Here.